healthy relationships are based on honesty and respect, but what are the signs that you may be in an unhealthy relationship? Psychologist Dr. Kim Taylor has your answer. She joins us this morning. As always, thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you. Okay, so you know we all have friends out there, family members that go through maybe drama with their significant other. We might think, oh, it's easy, it's obvious. But when you're in that relationship, sometimes it's not as simple, right? Right. There, there are some things that are very obvious and should never happen, and that includes verbal abuse. Whether someone's yelling at you, screaming, calling you names, or if there's any kind of physical abuse where they're kicking, hitting, shoving, pushing. And then there's, of course, the sexual abuse, that if you're being forced to have sex or threatened in some way. So those are the things that are obvious, but what we're trying to talk about is that there are also things that are less obvious and more uh, subtle. So we have a whole list of those that I think that we should go through because those are red flags too and okay. things that you really should look at. So the first one is that if you feel really pressured to change to meet your partner's needs or if your partner makes all of the uh, choices and they're very controlling. The other one is if your partner is extremely jealous and possessive or if your partner tries to control who you see and what you do. Also, a sure sign is if you are putting off all of your needs in order to try to take care of all of theirs. Or that if you feel like you can't confide in your partner, this is gonna be a problem too. Then, if you're always trying to defend your partner's behavior to other people because of them acting badly. Or if your partner is always blaming you for their bad behavior. Mm. Something else is also if you're sex life is extremely lacking and that you, there's a lot of anger and hurt around that or if your partner starts to threaten you or tries to intimidate you in some way also if your partner loses their temper quickly and takes out all of that anger on you or of course if your partner is cheating and if they're addicted to anything all of these are going to be sure signs that your relationship has gone from a healthy one to an unhealthy one and it could just be one of these that you listed. It could be one, it could be several, but whether or not um, uh, you have a lot of them, you still should pay attention to the smaller signs mm. because these are not going to get better unless you address them now. So some people might be out there that have that are on one side or the other. Someone might see that, oh, that's me that does that. Yes. Right. So it's it's important to recognize on both ends who's doing it and who's who's being absolutely yes and that is a great point that whether you are the one doing this or whether this is being done to to you you have to realize that you are in trouble and that that it is not your place to abuse your partner and or to stand for any kind of abuse from your partner mm -hmm. what's the most important thing that people need to know about their relationships in regards to this I think what I would say is that these are the red flags these are the signs you're supposed to read the signs and not just ignore them and keep going and so the best thing that you can do is to get into treatment go into therapy because a lot of unhealthy relationships can be turned around and back into the healthy ones so do it sooner rather than later sooner than later yeah I mean it's it's really hard you know for some people who are just kind of in a um, I, what do you call it just in a, a routine, routine or a exactly yes. yeah and, yes. and, and you just get used to it you're comfortable in that you just do your daily thing but you don't stop to say wait a minute something needs to change right and we are always growing just because we partner up it doesn't mean that we stop growing or that we get to just treat each other badly we are still needing to help each other and show each other that this is not okay to treat me this way and there's something going on with you and you need to go and look at that so that we can continue to be happy uh, yeah. Together. And is this something that you should bring up between you two or should you go straight to a counselor to get well, that? Well, I think the truth is is that most people try to talk about it and they try to work it out and mm -hmm. or they might pull in friends or a family at first. But if all of that doesn't work, then you've got to go to the big guns. You've yeah. got to go to a, a professional who can really help you know what's going on and help then for you to act in a more adult way rather than in perhaps some of the childish ways that you mm. learned growing up. Yeah, Very good points as always Dr. Kim. What's, uh, what is your final summary you know when it comes to unhealthy relationships maybe even just you know friendships can be unhealthy as well. What's your, what's your final message? Well I would say trust your gut that your gut tells you your truth. It tells you the truth all the time and listen to it and be guided by that. Mm. Good That's points. the most important part.
Awesome. Yeah. Dr. Kim, thank you so much. You always have good, good. advice for us here on the show. Good. <laughs> we can't wait to find <laughs> out what, uh, what next week brings us, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, she can be uh, heard on KZSB AM 1290. Her primetime hour is Thursdays, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Tune in, giving her, give her a call, right? Right. I'm yeah. there to help. Yeah. What, what are some uh, some uh, big things that have been going on? What have, what have you been dealing with? What's, what's the big things out there? Well, we've talked about sex addiction. We're talking this week about all of the new kind of apps that are out to actually help you in the uh, mental health field whether it's because you're depressed or stressed or different things that you can use to help you in a therapy with your a therapist oh so that's kind of like the big thing going on right we're talking now about all the new kind of techie things in mental health oh believe it or my not. goodness yes. wow that's a lot <laughs> yeah. Yeah. dr kim thank you so much and thank you for joining us thank this you. morning um here on fox 11 we will see you next week yes i'll be here uh, all right have a great day, everybody. We'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning right here on Fox 11.